Hi everyone, I'm David Globke. Welcome to today's JBL launch event. We're very excited to introduce the newest members of our flagship VTX series, the JBL VTX A6 line array element and the B15 15 inch subwoofer. Together they extend the VTX line to new compact form factors for small to medium sized applications. In the following video series, we'll begin with a features overview, and then we'll dig into rigging, derigging, and ground stacking systems. I'll be back at the end to wrap things up. So, let's get right to it. Hello, and welcome to the product overview video of our most compact VTX line array yet, the VTX A6 and the companion VTX B15 subwoofer. Our VTX products represent the state-of-the-art in high-performance loudspeaker technology and are designed for uncompromised sonic quality, ease of use, system integration, and user-friendliness. VTX products draw on multiple JBL patents in driver, waveguide, and suspension technology, as well as custom amplification, DSP, and software control. These two new members bring this commitment to innovation to a whole new scale and are ideal for situations where quality is paramount but size is restricted. The A6 is a passive two-way system and houses three transducers, including two 6.5-inch woofers and a 3-inch compression driver. The two differential drive 6.5-inch woofers are supported by large slipstream ports, providing ample low-frequency support allowing the system to remain linear under any conditions. The innovative high-frequency section integrates the compression driver, phasing plug, and waveguide into a unified device. The 3-inch non-metallic annular diaphragm reduces mass and improves high-frequency extension, while the V-shaped geometry reduces breakup modes which cause distortion in time smear. This unified component shares the same materials and design as other A-series line arrays, providing common voicing across the family. The A6 acoustic design is centered around the radiation boundary integrator technology, which places all the transducers on a single unified horn. The projection apertures of the RBI control the spacing between the woofers and improve the low frequency horizontal directivity by ensuring a proper acoustic transition between low and high drivers. The simple passive crossover network and a pin selection switch minimize wiring requirements and allow for easy selection of the desired channel from the NL4 cable. Up to 16 A6 speakers can be driven from a single 4-channel amplifier. The A6 uses the same patented auto-locking rigging system as the larger A12 and A8 and includes positions ranging from half a degree all the way up to 15 degrees. The angles are pre-selected when the cabinets are still on the ground simply by pre-setting the pin to the desired position. When the array is lifted, the internal locking mechanism automatically secures the array to the selected angles. Designed to complement A6 and sonically compatible with all VTX products is the VTX B15 single 15-inch subwoofer. The high-performance 2285H differential drive woofer uses a unique dual voice coil with an extra-large surface area. This delivers better heat dissipation and lower power compression than conventional single-coil designs. The strong unified cast aluminum frame acts as a large heat sink to cool down the woofer. The carbon fiber-based cone creates an ultra-rigid diaphragm, significantly reducing mass and cone breakup distortion. Inside the cabinet, four large double-flared low-frequency ports improve airflow and reduce audible turbulence, even at maximum excursion. Two NL4 connections available on the front and two on the back allow for clean cabling when deploying in standard or cardioid configurations. As with the A6, the NL4 channel selection switch reduces wiring requirements and allows for quick setup. The rigging system on the B15 is straightforward and safe. The spring-loaded rigging bars are captive and trigger-operated to allow for easy assembly, quick deployment, and rattle-free operation. Up to 16 B-15s can be suspended together in a single array in omnidirectional or cardioid configurations, and because of the matched rigging with the A6, mixed arrays are possible. The B-15G offers a simplified design that reduces cost and weight by removing the rigging components for applications where portable rigging hardware is unnecessary. The B-15G offers integrated M10 suspension points, making it ideal for fixed installations. 
in line with the rest of the VTX series products. A full suite of functionally identical accessories are available for the A6 and B15. The compact A6 mini frame provides unparalleled rigging flexibility and is compatible with the VTX truss clamp. The suspension bar can be used standalone or to implement pullback for extra down tilt, otherwise not possible using the mini frame alone or can attach to the top of the cabinet of an array and be used as an array frame for fixed installation. The ceiling mount is a great way to position A6 and B15 cabinets under balconies or other low clearance applications. Ground stacking A6 can be done with the A6 base plate, which supports up to eight cabinets on top of compatible subwoofers. The base plate is compatible with all B series subwoofers, including the B15, B18, and B28. The same base plate can be used to pull mount A6 using the optional VTX pull mount accessory. In this configuration, up to three A6s can be mounted on a standard speaker tripod or subwoofer pole. The VTX A6 case is used for transporting four A6 speakers. Internal metal plates attached to the A6 cabinets forming a traditional VTX vertical transporter that can be used for rigging deployment. Internal storage for several accessories, including a mini frame, suspension bar, and base plate, keeps the system together and is the same overall dimensions as the Crown V-Rack. The B15 transports with a caster board that locks into built-in reversible tabs, and the soft cover slides over to protect the cabinet. Like all VTX products, great attention was given to transportation efficiency and how systems transport. B15 and A6 solutions perfectly fit into semis, box vans, and seat containers worldwide, packing quickly and safely and eliminating wasted space. This efficiency adds up to fewer trucking demands and fewer demands on the environment. As with all VTX products, a6 and B15 are incorporated into our end-to-end -end software workflow. Line Array Calculator for Array Design and Acoustic Prediction, the Array Link mobile application for in-field deployment, and Performance Manager to control, optimize, and monitor your complete system. With our suite of software solutions designed from the ground up from the way modern live audio is done, you and your team will find it's never been easier to get up and running with the JBL VTX systems. The next generation JBL VTX A6 and B15 line array systems pack a tremendous set of innovative features into a highly efficient, ultra-compact package. These new cabinets are a fantastic addition to the A-Series lineup and define a new benchmark for arrays of their size. Hello, and welcome to the rigging video for the JBL VTX A6 line array system. VTX A6 systems are transported in purpose-designed road cases. Each road case carries up to four A6 cabinets, plus some accessories and speaker cables. To begin the suspension process, lift the top off the case and remove the mini frame from its storage position at the rear of the case. To prepare the top speaker cabinet of the array for connection to the mini frame, select the six degree position on the cabinet side panel and extend its rigging bars. This sets the mini frame parallel with the top cabinet. The A6 mini frame consists of three individual parts, two side arms and one spreader bar. Position the side arms on top of the speaker and insert the pins. Pin the spreader bar between the side arms and ensure that the same hole position is used on both sides. Be sure to verify that the pins are fully seated and engaged. The spreader bar position, frame orientation, and array angles are determined using JBL Line Array Calculator 3 software. Once configuration in LAC3 is completed, the information can be transferred to the ArrayLink mobile application using the generated QR code found on the configuration page. ArrayLink provides an easy and convenient way to have all necessary information available during setup. Intercabinet angles are selected while the system is still on the ground and before the array is suspended. Verify that the pins on both sides of a cabinet match before lifting the array.
Next, attach the hoist to the shackle and start lifting the array. As the array goes up, the cabinet's rigging bars expand to the selected angles and automatically lock into place. Once the array is floating just above the ground, disconnect the case bottom by removing the pins at the front and then at the rear. While the first section of the array is going up, roll the next stack of cabinets into place beneath it. Assuming all the cabinet angles have been pre-selected on the ground, preset the rigging by simply lifting the rear of each speaker. To join the two sections, roll the next stack of cabinets to be flown in front of the suspended array and lower the array until the front attachment points are nearly touching. Align the front points and lower the suspended array until the attachment points make contact. Then insert the front pins. Continue lowering the array until the rear points come into contact, pin them together, and raise the array until the wheels are off the ground. A two-step process is used to safely connect stacks to the bottom of the array with extra curvature. First, attach the front two connection pins and then float the array. Make sure to control the array as it may swing forward. Use the handle at the base of the road case to pull the lower section back and carefully land the array on the front two wheels. A gentle nudge to one side as the array lands will eliminate any unexpected movement as the wheels rotate. Continue lowering the array until the rear points come in contact, then insert the pins. One last safety check of all the rigging pins and we're ready to go to trim. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome to the de-rigging video for the JBL VTX A6 line array system. To begin the de-rigging process, lower the array to a good working height and release the red angle locks on the lowest four cabinets. Opening the locks makes it possible for the cabinet angles to collapse back to the 15 degree position for storage. Attach the road case base to the bottom cabinet by first connecting the rear points and then the front points. Use the handle at the base of the case to pull the lower section back while simultaneously lowering the array onto the front wheels. A nudge to the side as the wheels touch the ground will eliminate any unexpected movement as the wheels rotate into position. Continue to lower the array until the gap between the fourth and fifth cabinets from the bottom has closed completely. Close the red locking latches on the bottom four cabinets and move the corresponding angle selection pins to the 15 degree storage position. This ensures that the rigging mechanism cannot accidentally be engaged during transportation. Remove the rear pins between the fourth and fifth cabinets. Raise the array. As the array goes up, use the handle at the base of the case to carefully allow the cart to roll forward. Once all four wheels are on the ground, remove the front pins between the fourth and fifth cabinets. If you feel any resistance removing the front pins, bump the suspended array down. Roll the stack of four cabinets away and repeat this process for the rest of the array. When the final stack of cabinets has been landed, disconnect the hoist from the mini frame. Separate the spreader bar from the side arms and store the components inside the base of the road case. Cover the stacks with the road case lids and they are ready for transport. Thank you for watching. Hello, and welcome to the rigging video for the JBL VTX B15 subwoofer. To suspend B15 subwoofers, 
Begin by removing the soft cover of the first B15 and flipping the cabinet onto its base. Remove the caster board and set it aside. To release the link bars, simply press the button up and to retract them, press down. Once down, the mechanism automatically locks the link bar in the storage position. Using this method, press up to extend the four front B15 link bars. The B15 can be suspended using the VTX A6 mini frame or the A6 suspension bar. The A6 mini frame consists of three individual parts, two sidearms, and one spreader bar. Position the sidearms on the subwoofer and insert the pins through the rigging bars of the B15. Pin the spreader bar between the sidearms and ensure that the same hole position is used on both sides of the cabinet. Verify that the pins are fully seated and engaged. With the frame attached, connect the hoist to the shackle and begin lifting the first subwoofer. To add additional B15s, lower the flown array on top of subwoofers on the ground. Once stacked, remove the six pins, release the six captive link bars, and re-pin all six positions. Repeat these steps to complete the B15 subwoofer array. For mixed arrays, prepare the A6 cabinets the same way you would with a standalone array. Preset the angles, set the top cabinet to an angle of 6 degrees, and preload the A6 rigging to make connecting the stack of cabinets easier. Align the front attachment points and then lower the suspended array until the front points are making contact. Once the front points are touching, insert the front pins. Next, lower the array further until the rear points can be pinned together. Continue the process of rigging an A6 array as outlined in the A6 rigging tutorial video and the A6 rigging manual until the array is complete. D-rigging follows the same steps as an array including only A6s. Drop the array back to a good working height and release the red suspension locks on the lower four cabinets. Attach the A6 road case base. Use the handle at the base of the case to pull the lower section back and carefully land the array on the front two wheels. Continue to lower the array until the gap between the fourth and fifth cabinets from the bottom has completely closed. Next, close the red locking latches and pin the bottom four cabinets to the 15 degree storage position. Remove the rear pin on each side that's between the bottom four speakers and the rest of the array and lift the array slightly to get all four wheels on the ground. Pull the front pins to release the stack from the flown array and roll it out of the way. Repeat these steps for all A6s in the array. To de-rig the B15s, simply land the array. Remove the pins holding the lowest B15 to the array. Raise the hoist to separate the disconnected B15 from the array above. Slide the separated B15 out from underneath the array and press the captive spring-loaded rigging bars back into the cabinet. They will lock into the storage position automatically. Install the caster board, flip the cabinet onto the casters, and fit the protective cover over it. Repeat these steps until the entire array is safely landed. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome to the ground stacking tutorial for the JBL VTX A6 line array loudspeaker and the VTX B15 and B15G subwoofers. To start, use the ground stacked array mode of JBL line array calculator 3 software to determine the desired system coverage. Ground stacked array mode enables creating mixed arrays incorporating both VTX full range and subwoofer products. This mode uses an advanced tipping factor algorithm to determine the mechanical safety of an array and helps you decide which accessories to use with the configuration you specify. The B1 GND Universal Accessory can be used with the built-in rigging on the B15 to add stability to ground stacked arrays by extending the base footprint. To install the B1 GNDs, begin with the subwoofer on the caster board. 
Insert the B1GNDs into the bottom rigging point on the subwoofer and secure them with the attached pins. The B1GND is not compatible with the B15G, so smaller arrays must be used in configurations incorporating the B15G. Set the subwoofer onto its feet. One person can easily flip a B15 riding on a caster board. Set the next subwoofer on top, extend the link bars, and pin the rigging together. Remove each caster board by sliding one of the spring-loaded handles inward and pulling from one side to detach the board. The caster boards can be stacked together by referencing the arrows on them and guiding the casters into the wheel cups of the board below. The A6BP base plate is a universal ground stacking accessory that can be attached to many different surfaces, including all VTX B series subwoofers. To build a ground stack array including both the A6 and B15, place the base plate on the top subwoofer and remove the M20 knob that secures the angle selection plates. Pin the two angle selection plates to the rear of the base plate using the attached pins. Secure the base plate to the M20 attachment point on the subwoofer with the included knob. Stack the first A6 cabinet onto the base plate by first pinning the front points, then selecting the correct angle for the rear points and inserting the pins. Select the required inter-cabinet angles on the A6, engage the rigging hardware, and continue until the array is built. To disassemble the array, execute the steps in the reverse order. As previously mentioned, the A6 base plate is a universal accessory that can be used with other VTX subwoofers, including the B18 and B28 using the same assembly steps. Three additional M20 positions are available to allow better placement of A6s with larger subwoofers. The VTX A6 base plate can also be used as a pull mount accessory for up to three A6 cabinets. Using the reinforced M20 threaded mount in the center of the sub, attach a standard 35 mm speaker pole. Place the VTX PM pole mount adapter onto the base plate and attach it by screwing the included pair of thumb screws into the two threaded holes on the bottom of the base plate. Slide this assembly on top of the pole and tighten the thumb screw. Stack the speaker cabinets on top of the base plate one by one, just like in a standard ground stack. For more information regarding angles and presets for a pole mounted A6 configuration, refer to the VTX A6 user manual. For more details on the rigging and other configuration options for B15 and A6 systems, please refer to the rigging manual and user guides for each accessory. Thank you for watching. So that's a brief overview of the VTX A6 and B15. With the addition of these two new compact models, the VTX series offers a complete ecosystem for delivering unrivaled sound reinforcement at any scale and in any venue. Thank you for joining us today. The A6 and B15 are currently available. You can learn more at www.jblpro.com.